few months ago we decided that we wanted to use our community day as a team day. We researched a number of organisations and asked our colleagues within the commercial team, what would you like to do? The society has already got a corporate tie up with Cumbria Wildlife Trust. And so it seemed a natural home to go and explore what we could do for them. So we've split it out over two days with Cumbria Wildlife Trust. The first day we were out at their nature reserve at Icott Hill, which is around about 30 miles south of Carlisle, a fairly remote location. And we were planting trees to try and bring a bit more natural environment back to that location. It's been heavily grazed by sheep. A farmer had owned the land for a number of years. The local vegetation had been damaged, destroyed, and there was very little of the natural habitation left. Cumbria Wildlife Trust bought it from the farmer nine years ago, and they are trying to bring it back to a more natural environment. And we were delighted to play a tiny little part in helping them do that. At least I hope this is a quick Thank you very much for coming. My name's Adam, I'm the horticulture manager here um, at Cumbria Wildlife Trust. So we've got a wildflower nursery down at the bottom end and a wildlife garden here, which is managed by volunteers. It's kind of like a community garden. Today we're going to be doing what we would have done yesterday with the regular volunteers. We're also very conscious about environmental matters just now. What the Trust does is amazing. Everybody's told me that it's been great to get out of the office. It's been great to connect with nature. Unreal. <laughs> I don't think many people were expecting is that Cumbria Wildlife Trust go out of their way to educate us about nature, tell us about the reserves, tell us about why they do certain things. We've got a seed bank here as well. This is brand new, so it's not fully kitted out. This is field gentian. We'll have a pass them around, have a look. It makes you think about your own environment when you go back to your own little patch of land. And it makes you think about what you can do within your garden or within your, your land if you've got any. And it's amazing how small things can make big differences. I just want to extend my thanks to Cumbria Wildlife Trust across both days at two very different sites. Not only have they allowed us to come and help them, they've taught us some new skills. Uh, but also they've taught us about why they do what they do which is really important and it really lets us know that you could take some of those things back to your own garden and try and encourage a bit more wildlife more bees more pollinators back into nature every little helps no matter how small the space you've got mm -hmm.